How's it going everybody, Bachi Pokemon here, and welcome to my Silver Tempest opening. Unfortunately, I didn't get this in time. In fact, my booster box has been apparently delayed. The the shop I bought it from is only getting it delivered on 25th of November, so I'll get it way later. Maybe I'll try to order it somewhere else, we'll see. But for this opening, I do have an ETB, as well as both of the um, the three-pack blisters, one featuring the Manaphy and the other one featuring the Togetic, of course. So, why don't we just go ahead and start with both of these, try to get these out. These are literally always a pain to get out, because they never rip the way you want them to. You always have to rip them, like, apart, but there you go. Access to the three booster packs, and of course the really, really cool Pikachu coin. And the code card for whoever wants to get that, good luck, good luck. And of course the Togetic promo, really nice looking promo, I like this one. This one's really cool. Although the Manaphy one, just looking at it like this, you know, off screen right here, well, um, that might look better. Of course, three booster packs from this. I'll get out the other ones right now. Here's the Pikachu coin. That's a really nice coin. I actually quite like that coin. Let's get the, the other booster packs out of this three pack blister. Of this three pack blister. Let's see. So, the bolts I would want to get from Silver Tempest. I've looked at the, the card list. There's a lot of cards uh, from VMAX Climate that we're only getting now in, in English. VMAX Climate has been out for over a year now. You know, it was released at the end of last year. Here is the, the Manaphy promo. Really nice. And here's the code card. Enjoy, enjoy. And of course the coin, as you've already seen that from the other opening. Or from the other three-pack blister. Okay, so Togetic and Manaphy, maybe we'll do it like this. We'll see who can give us the, the best pulls. But yeah, since we have so many packs, especially with the ETB as well, I won't be doing the card trick. Since that would just, you know, I want to say waste time. But let's see. So, number one pull, of course, in this one, you want to get the Lugia V, which is, nah, whatever. The, the card I want most is the Friends in Gala card as we pull a the World War Non-Holographic Rare and a Code card. The Friends in Gala, as you know, I do love Full Art Trainer cards and the Friends of Gala is like one of my favorite Full Art Trainers or Full Art Trainer cards, even though it features more than one, but that's what makes us great. The other thing, there have been a few more cards revealed for, um, whatchamacallit? V-Star Universe, including a few more Full Art Trainers, featuring like Raihan and Cynthia, which both of those are like my favorites, I really want to pull those. And we got a Holographic Crobat in this one. So the Cynthia one is really, really nice. That's like my number one pull, that's the card I want to get from, from V-Star Universe. Well, actually no, it might be the uh, uh, Zoro Zorak uh, V-Star. That one looks really, really nice. But yeah, in terms of trainers, like the Raihan is cool. Also, there have been, uh, like, common versions of, like, uh, I don't know what they're called. I hadn't looked. It looked like Friends of Sinnoh. And like another region, which I can't recall. Maybe those will get full arts as well. Oh, nice, an almost Star V. I think we've pulled this one in the Paradise and Trigger opening. If I recall correctly. Omastar V. Might have, might have been in another opening, I can't recall. But we've definitely pulled an, an Omastar before. So far, no goes for those packs. But you know, we'll still have plenty to go, and we still have an ETB to go through. And hopefully a booster box at some point. Also, by the time of recording this, which is just, you know, Monday, I still have not received an update on my Charizard UPC. Which I ordered like ages ago, as the Frostlass featuring Candace, which of course we we pulled in in the Paradigm Trigger opening, which is really really crazy. Go check that video off if you haven't already. Really really nice. Okay, I'm expecting another pull from one of these blister packs. I mean, we've gotten the almost star from one, so it means we should be getting another pull. Hopefully, a Trainer Gallery card. That would be nice. Trainer Gallery cards are always really really cool. 
And I like the addition to to or off Trainer Gallery cards in these sets. And no, no for that one. Only a Zygarde. And a cool looking low punny. Look at this. Really nice. And a cold card. There you go. There you go. Last pack four or three pack blister. So far only an Omastar. But you know, maybe we can do better with the ETB. We can pull like two alternate cards. That'd be crazy. That would be kind of crazy. But yeah, cards I want to pull from Silver Tempest. Friends in Gala, of course. Uh, maybe the Candace, although I already have her in Japanese. Uh, oh, nice, okay. This is this is like one of the best trainer gallery cards, or like the normal one, the character rares. The Breaks. Oh, and an oh, unknown V-Star. Holy moly, we got two in one for this one. Really nice, and here's the code card. We've got two in one. We've got the Unknown Vista, which of course we also pulled in, in our Paradigm Trigger opening. And we've got the... the Breaks, which we actually pulled in our Incandescent Arcana opening. Okay, let's just put these over here real quick. And grab the Elite Trainer Box. Get that open. Then we have a few more packs to go through. Really hoping for at least... You know, one one trainer gallery secret wear, like the Rayquaza, for example, which I haven't said already, which was maybe the, the second best card I want to pull. Of course, the Reggie Draco V alternate art is really cool. Then the Lugia V, which everyone is chasing, probably. Here's the booklet. If you've opened an ETB, you probably know what this is. Let's just flip through this real quick. Of course, you can see the whole cards in this, which is really nice. We can. Check this out, try to figure out which card you want to grab. Of course, the Serenity. Oh, yeah, the Serenity. That would be a really cool one. And there is the infamous Lugia. The infamous Lugia alternate art. Which is really crazy expensive. In Japanese. But here we go. Silver Tempest. Let's just get this out of here. The sleeves. There you go. I kind of... I mean, I like that they in, uh, include sleeves, but... You know, these are like the cheap sleeves. I generally wouldn't wouldn't recommend using them. You're better off grabbing some some ultra pro sleeves or like um, what you call a dragon shield. There's your energies, all your markers. You know, the usual stuff. Some dividers. These dividers are actually really nice. I like I like using them for my bulk storage. And of course, what we're here for? The booster packs. The ETBs are nice uh, nice for storage. I don't use them for bulk. I use like a um, Specific bulk storage box. You hold like over over 4,000 cards or something like that But I like dividing them because I do collect uh, multiple different languages So it's nice to divide them between like Japanese German and um, English of course, although mostly they've just been been English and Japanese as of lately Not not too much or at all German cards in there anymore Pro gunk Solosis. Zubat, Nine Tails, and a holographic Medicham just chilling under a tree. Medicham chilling under a tree, okay. And here are the other cards. Really cool, Raichu. And the Ferrothorn. I think we've pulled this one in the Lost Origin versus Lost Abyss opening. In like that that special pack where you get like also the candy. Which I have tried. I've tried the candy from that opening, and I can tell you, it isn't great. It's not bad or anything, it just it isn't great. But, you know, I got it for free to, to my order, like, in, dish, in addition to my order. So that was a nice, um, nice gesture, I thought. But anywho, Svenikin, Murkrow, Beldum, Boltoy, Lopani again, and a Reshiram V, nice. At least we're getting, oh, and an upside down Glalie, and here's the Candace mocking me. Maybe we can pull another Candace, that would be sick. Though, I, I'd be down, I'd be down to pull another Candace. At this point, with these packs, you know, all I'm looking for is like a trainer gallery secret rare. You know, the trainer gallery cards that have texture, like the like the Rayquaza, for example. I think the Mawile as well, which you can get in here, or like a full art trainer. Any of those, or even a, a an alternate art. Oh, nice Radiant Jirachi. This is really really nice. I like Jirachi, and an holographic Talonflame. And here's the code card. Good luck. Good luck. Kind of forgotten about the Radiant cards. 
a nice addition. Doesn't count as Trainer Gallery, no it doesn't. But it's nice, I like I like the sets that have Trainer Gallery cards, I think I've said it multiple times before. Because even if you don't pull like a V or anything else, there's still the chance that you pull something in the reverse spot. Which I really quite like. Well, more no no scopes for that one, and Cabalion. Getting uh, getting a little bit unlucky for this one. Just check out this this weight on it. Just saw it like putting it aside. That looks really cool. I like this illustration. How many packs do we have left? Only four packs left. Come on, give us like at least a full art, like anything, anything above like a normal V, and I'd be very happy. Anything above a normal V. But you know, it's still fun. It's always fun opening new sets, don't get me wrong. And especially V-Star Universe. Whew. V-Star Uni Universe, I'm gonna try to, to open as much as I can. Although in the beginning, I can already tell you in the beginning, it will be very, very expensive. People are gonna scalp that. But if, um, whatchamacallit, VMAX Climax is anything to go by, that set was printed into oblivion. That was, after a few months, was readily available, even over here in, in Europe, specifically on card market. You could buy that for 40, which is essentially MSRP. So I can assure you that will probably be printed into oblivion as well. So don't get, don't get like scammed, I want to say. Don't pay too much for it. I, of course, will try to get a few or like two booster boxes to begin with and then just chill, probably, until it gets uh, a bit a bit cheaper. Two packs left, and so far we haven't pulled nothing too great. I mean, of course, the Jirachi is really nice, and so is the Reshiram. Really cool, really cool illustrations and cards. But not, not so much with the luck. Not so much with the luck, unfortunately. Sunkern, which is really happy. The Fan P, which is a really cute illustration. Indeedy, again, really cute. With the Marini. Oh, nice, another Trainer Gallery card. A Rockruff. And, oh, an Articuno holographic. And once again, two pulls in a row. Really nice. Actually, I can't say that we haven't pulled anything great. We have pulled the Brakeson, which in itself is a really cool Trainer Gallery card. But let's see. Let's see what we can do in our last pack here. Maybe some last pack magic. I think for the last pack, I am going to do the card trick, you know. Just to build a bit of suspense. With Toga de Maro here, here is the code card. I'm gonna pull four from the back, put them right here. I think I did that wrong. There you go. Okay, so Toga de Maru, Esper, Smeargle, a Litten, a Petalil, Darkness Energy, Claydol, Worker, Sunflora. Got another Smeargle, and... Ah, nothing, just a Neuvern unholograph or non-holographic rare. Well, no heavy hitters for this one, but we still got a few, few good pulls. Let me just sort these. Okay, so of course we have our two promo cards, the Togetic and the Manaphy. We have the Unknown V-Star. We have the Reshiram V. We have the Omastar V. We have the Rockruff and the Breaks, and this is probably the... the Best one from this opening for our Trainer Gallery cards. And the Radiant Jirachi, which is really cool. And then just three holographics. Well, no heavy hitters, but I think the pulls itself were kind of on par. But anyways, if you enjoyed this opening, then a like would be appreciated. Uh, stay tuned for more in the future, especially a Silver Tempest booster box opening. We'll see what we can pull from there. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Peace, peace.